I'm Peter Simon, Managing Director of The Simon Company. It's a family business founded by my father in 1985. I've been in the business for five years. Our main profile is plastic processing, for which we have had more than 80 injection molding machines. 90% of our work is done for the automotive industry, and we produce over a million parts a day. In the average car sold worldwide, about three or four parts are made by our company. We've been in contact with Fanuc for quite a while now, and the main reason for our successful collaboration is their ability to respond to our needs and machine capacity problems in a very flexible, dynamic and quick manner. They had a huge advantage over their competitors by delivering our first injection moulding machine in two weeks. We chose Fanuc because in regards to energy efficiency, they proved to be the best. Originally, we figured we would be able to add about three or four standard hydraulic machines to our existing energy rail. Now, we have 10 FANUC machines operating on the same rail, without any problems whatsoever. Our current fleet consists of 11 FANUC machines. They have a closing force of 100 to 150 tons and are equipped with 18 to 32 size worms. We often use these machines to produce thin-walled products, for which the electric drives of Fanuc machines have a distinct advantage. One of the main characteristics of electric machines is that their servo motors can start at their maximum torque and can reach the ideal injection moulding speed very quickly, so it's much easier to fill these thin-walled products. We currently use Sepro robots for our Fanuc machines. These are three-axis linear robots with a single pneumatic rotary axis. The machine robot communication is remarkably good. We mainly use the robots for product and Angus picking, so we have the opportunity for Angus grinding. Also, by placing the products on a soft conveyor belt, there's a much lower chance of damaging them. We'll keep counting on Fanuc's flexible attitude in the future and I am confident that we'll continue working together on new projects in the long term.